If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, October 1st, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Joining me shortly in the Finis Monitor today will be Wendy Neely. She is the head coach of the Blue Wave Aquatics Masters team in the Seattle area. And Blue Wave was just recognized as the U.S. Masters Swimming Club of the Year. And Wendy joins us now via Skype from Seattle. Wendy, it's great to see you. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. Well, Thanks congratulations for... on being named Club of the Year. Thank you. Would, did you uh, when you did you have any special workout or set or any kind of celebration to commemorate this? Um, we haven't yet. We're going to work on doing something club wide that we can all come together and celebrate our accomplishments. So, any idea of what that might be? Um, it'll be, uh, we're not really sure, we're looking for maybe a workout or a party, post-workout, just an opportunity to bring as many people together as we can, and we found out, and it was, then a couple days later, we had our big open water championship of the season, so we, you know, got to hang our banner with pride, and had a team photo, and we had a lot of people, you know, there to be a part of that, so that's, that was the kickoff to it, so. Were you in Anaheim when they uh, picked uh, Blue Wave as, a, as the club of the year? Uh, no, I wasn't. I was actually at a special Olympics um, training convention, so I found out you know, with a little picture of our banner. So. Oh, okay. So they so basically someone at USMS sent you a photograph and said, congrats on being club of the year? Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, so it was, it was pretty exciting. I guess that's one way to figure it out. Uh, I know. So... <laughs> I guess, you, were you able to concentrate the rest of the day knowing that this had happened? Well, it was just kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, it, this is a big deal. Is this a big deal? I just didn't have anybody to, you know, talk to and make sure I was processing things, you know, properly. It was just emails bouncing and coming back to my phone, you know, six, eight <laughs> hours later. So right. then we realized, oh my gosh, this is, a, this is the big deal. Oh, so yeah, oh, yeah we were very excited. So you mentioned a banner, and I know the Club of the Year gets a banner. Is there Are there any other perks that come with this? Um, I think the biggest perk is just that our team is getting recognized, and we have so many fabulous people on our team, and I, that's, the way, that's the recognition that I just wanted to have our team earn for everyone. So, Well, let's talk about Blue Wave. Uh, currently on your website, you have eight training locations. Now, that seems like a lot for a master's team. Is this is just a way to give everybody as, as much pool space as possible, or is this just a way for everybody around the Seattle area to be able to have access to a pool for your team? Um, well, we have five um, kind of main training hubs, and so they're spread out in different cities, and so it just able you know enables us to a um, be able to have more people involved in our program. And B, it gives our, you know, current members, if they're at one location and maybe they're traveling or family obligations, they can still maintain some sort of, tra you know, training um, regime with, um, a, at a different venue. And, you know, we run our workouts the same and we're all, you know, trained the same. So you feel like you're just walking into a program that you may already be familiar with and you're meeting new friends. So it just kind of has, you know, many different benefits. So... So with these five main training locations, is are the workouts pretty much the same or is or do each, does each coach at each training facility get kind of the autonomous decision to do what he or she is, wants to do? Um, they do. So we have um, a kind of a primary coach at each venue and we're just really big on, you know, teaching to your particular crowd and we all, you know, um, coached by the same principles, but our delivery is different, and so, and so is our clientele. So it's just meeting the needs of the clients, but yet keeping the integrity of um, the Blue Wave way, you know, intact, so. And it seems to me that you have a lot of open water swimmers on your team because you have these regular lake swims. Um, I think they're on Sundays. Tell us about that. 
Uh, we have uh, lake swims on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and it's just an opportunity for, you know, our triathletes to come in and, you know, get their open water training and our regular pool swimmers to get an opportunity to get outside, kind of get outside the lines and just have a good time. And, you know, it's social, but it's, you know, hard work at the same time, so... Open water swimming is obviously becoming a very popular sport now that it's been in the Olympics and everything. So in your guesstimation, how, what's the percentage of athletes on Blue Wave that, are, that lean more towards open water swimming? Uh, I would say probably 80% of our members go out and do open water swimming in some form, whether it's through you know, regular workouts or doing a triathlon or competing in an open water swim. Okay, so that is, that's a pretty large number, and I guess it's not too surprising, you know, Seattle, the Seattle area is close, has a lot of water, open water around it. Um, when, how, for my, I have two parts to this next question. When did uh, Blue Wave Aquatics begin? Um, well, we were originally Federal Way Masters. Um, and that started back in 1984. And so over the years, we've been getting larger and larger. But Federal Way is just such a small representation of where our swimmers are coming from and where we were training. So um, three years ago, we decided that we were going to um, you know, become our own club. And that's where Blue Wave originated. And, and as you have grown, uh what has been the challenge in terms of um, trying to handle all the different demands that masters have? I mean, you have fitness swimmers, you have the pool competitive swimmers, you have the open water competitive swimmers. I mean, it's not like age group where everybody's kind of going towards the same path. How do you meet all those different challenges? Um, well, I think that's what kind of keeps me and my coaches in um, into coaching because it's just always a challenge. And I think the challenge um, is the gift that it's like, how can we bring everybody together in one particular workout, but yet meet everybody's needs? And so um, it's just, you know, you're always thinking and um, it, in the end of the day, everybody or your lane or um, your particular group have basic swim needs. And as long as they're being met, it's really not a challenge. And then they're all, you know, suitable to go do open water or to maintain their fitness or go swim in a swim meet. So. Okay. Very interesting. Now, if I were part of the committee that were um, choosing the club of the year, and um, I had all the the coaches from all the nominees uh, come to me and kind of give their pitch, what would you say is the the big thing that stands out for Blue Wave Aquatics? Um, I think the big thing that stands out would be um, we treat our people first, and then um, they are a swimmer second. And so with everybody feeling important and part of the community, we just always have great involvement. And, you know, we have, we're just giving, keep growing USMS and promoting it. It's like USMS is our vision, is, is part of our vision. So I don't know if I answered that very well, but. <laughs> well, I like that. It's a, it's a good way of, of describing your team. And I see the samurai swords on the shelf behind you. Oh. I, I have a feeling there's probably a little bit of a warrior mentality. I think that's probably what you're trying to get across there, isn't it? Oh, perhaps. Out of kindness, of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kind. I, okay, okay. Well, the, yeah, that was part of, that was a reward. Um, we did some extensive leadership training with Clemmer and Associates. And so our very last training level was um, the heart of the samurai. And so at the conclusion of that training, you know, we were awarded swords. So that's why they're back there. My husband and I had done that. So Okay. I like that. It's very nice. Very nice. Thank well, you. Wendy, uh, tell us about your swimming background, not just as a coach, but as a swimmer. Okay. Um, well, I swam pretty much um, through swim lessons, maybe three, four years old. Um, swam, you know, club swimming, high school swimming. Um, didn't really enjoy high school swimming that much and just kind of started to get burned out when I was like 13, 14, 15. Um, and so I always swam and never thought that this would be my profession. But um, Hugh Moore, I don't know if you know him, but he um, invited me to coach because I was lifeguarding and everything at the time. And so I just kind of, you know, just started growing um, my, co you know, through coaching and taking classes and different things and found out that I had a passion for teaching um, swimming and for coaching and then people and put that all together and that's what it looked like. And if I knew all the things I know, I know now that 
I would have been a much better swimmer and probably would have continued swimming, you know, through college and everything. So. Well, I think a lot of swimmers feel that way. Hindsight is twenty twenty. You know, you just know what you know now as an adult. You wish you could go back to your younger self and say, hey, don't do this or do this a little bit better. Right. And so maybe, you know, that's where we come, you know, with uh, my swimming background, just more tolerance um, to people learning how to do things well and, you know, and right. And that the joy comes from the process, not just you know, doing it for racing purposes or doing it to complete something. It, it's something that swimming can complete you as a person. So, right, right. Yeah. Well, Wendy, before we go, we're going to uh, submit you to the final five. These are five questions we ask everybody on our show to kind of get to understand your personality a little bit better. So um, here we go with the first okay. question. Okay. All right. The first question is, if you could change the order of strokes in the individual medley, how would you change it? Um, I think I would change, put breaststroke first. <laughs> People who say that mean, say that because they're not breaststrokers. That would be it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what career other than your own would you like to try? Um, I think I would like to be in like hotel management or some sort of travel or marketing, something like that. Okay. And what career would you not like to try at all? Um, I don't know. I'm pretty open. I, I don't know. I wouldn't, there isn't anything that's just popping up. Okay. Uh, if you could change or add any rule in the swimming rule book, what would it be? Mm. I think, um, maybe putting your toes up on, uh, the gutter to do those stand up backstroke starts might be fun. Yeah. I remember those days. Yeah. All right, last question. Where do you most like to go on vacation? Um, to the Caribbean. Okay, well, it is def that is definitely not Seattle. <laughs> no, for sure not. <laughs> well, Wendy, thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations on um, having Blue Wave be a part of um, the long list of great clubs from USMS Club of the Year, and um, all the best for continued success. Okay, thank you. And our thanks to you as well for joining us on the Morning Swim Show. Be sure to visit us on SwimmingWorld.com for the latest aquatic sports news. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.